Hey guys, so today, I am really sorry, uh, I haven't been posting in a while, um, I had to do a school change, which makes my school day longer, and I know people are probably like, Parker, but you had a snow day. Okay, I was being lazy, and I was just sitting and playing video games all day. I think I went outside for like two minutes, <laughs> um, and that's because I had to, <laughs> um, well, no. I was playing with my friends because they knocked on my door. So, that's pretty much the only way I went outside. So, yeah, and I actually had content to make, but I, um, I didn't make it. <laughs> so, yeah, I have stuff from Hot Topic, um, a comic book store, GameStop, and also from my grandma. So, yeah, so I have four Funko Pops with me, three t-shirts, and... A special thing. Oh, you can see that special. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we're going to start out with the shirts. All the shirts we got at Hot Topic, there is a Hot Topic near us. And if you wear a men's small or a woman's small, or any size that's a men or a woman's, um, I'm pretty sure uh, it's going for this week. Maybe um, it's buy one, get two free. On Hot Topic shirts, I, I sound like they're sponsoring me. They aren't, but Hot Topic, if you're watching, I, I'm okay with you sponsoring me. Yeah, so I have my Wild Stallion shirt. This is the shirt from Bill and Ted Face the Music. I have not seen the movie yet. We just haven't got it on DVD or we haven't rented it. So yeah, so we got Wild Stallion. This is like. Wild Stallion was a thing in the original Bill and Ted, um, but this, like, it's more upgraded before it was just, like, some wacky. It was just, like, Wild Stallion and some wacky words, but now it actually got a cool thing. Okay, so there's that shirt, uh, uh, which I, like, had, like, some editing effects, so I could just be, like, bam, and it would be on me. Okay. <clears throat> So this one, this is the shirt that I think Dustin wears in an episode of Stranger Things. So, I'm a big Stranger Things fan, so I had to get this shirt. Yeah, because it's cool, and it was free. <laughs> well, it was, all of them were free for me, but technically, shirts were only five bucks. So, yeah, we pay five bucks for three shirts, I think. Yeah, so there is that, and I think that's really cool. It just, like, pays homage. Homage? I think I used that word correctly. I doubt I did. Um, but it just makes sense because I like Stranger Things and I don't really have... I don't have a Stranger Things shirt at all, so... Stranger Things shirt. And it's the one with my favorite character. Okay, this shirt, I love. This shirt was actually, like, I think produced by Hot Topic. Um, I just like it because it says Newton and Crowd. And, yeah, I just really like this shirt because I have a very interesting personality and I'm very outgoing. So, it's kind of like I'm a mutant in a way. So, mutant and proud and it has, like, the X-Men logo. Yeah, and this is a really cool shirt. So, yeah, those are the shirts. And now I'm going to get on with the pops. Okay, I actually have to grab the Baby Yoda. Oh, sorry, I spoiled it. Okay, so I have my Baby Yoda. I did have the box, uh, I have the box for it. It's just under my bed and it's really damaged, so. Yeah, there you go. And he's like a bobblehead, so I like keeping my bobbleheads out of box. <laughs> yeah, so. He's really cool. And his box was really damaged, so it was a reason to keep him out of box. Yeah, because he stands, I have like a shelf right on top of where you are, whoever is watching where you are. I have like a shelf that has stuff and he's on there. Okay, now to the pops in box. Just to get keep theme and it's the one that's on top. They, this is another pop for my grandma. So, I have the Coca-Cola can. I've actually popped this one out of the box, so I'll pop it out. I may start popping like the pops out of box sometimes if like they're not super expensive mm. so 
so I just you can see the figure a bit better. And I think this one looks really good out of box. I just really like the box. And it looks good in the box and it adds to my tower. <laughs> so yeah, there is the Coca-Cola can. It even has like art for the top. That's like the crap. <laughs> chug chug chug. Yeah. So we got like the Coca-Cola can logo and I think he's really cool. So now watch me just box them up in a very non-satisfying way. Okay, there. So there is our Coca-Cola can friend. Um, then this one we got from the comic book store. This one is Victory Comics. Um, it's a store that's about like 20 minutes away from our house. Um, and, um... Another thing here that is here is also from Victory Comics, and that's the thing I'm not saying. But we have the This Is Fine Dog meme. And he's a exclusive to do, 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 Entertainment Earth, but we found him at a comic book store. And on his flap, there's this really cool saying. He um he goes, I'm okay with all the say um wait, it says I'm okay with the events that are cur uh that are unfolding currently. He means COVID. This came out during COVID. So, yeah. And this pop is really cool. Well, I think it's really cool. Because they didn't do, like, a text bubble, which I'm glad. They just put, like, this is fine on the mug, which I think is pretty good. And he, like, he stands well because he has, like, the fire around his chair. And I think that's very low. I just, uh... Um, yeah, so there is the This Is Fine Dog. And if you look in the very back of the pop, it's like it, the background that's in the meme. So, it's pretty funny. And then on the back, they have the This Is Fine. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Huh. Okay. I just know something doesn't need to be shared because now it's wrong. Um, so now we have the Alan Dutch, uh, so we have the Alan Dutch scarfer in the mud. So, this is from Predator. Um, Predator is a scary movie. Um, it's a horror movie. It shows, like, skinned bodies fully. It's cool. Um, I like it. And so pretty much the Predator, it, like, he can only see heat. So... Dutch, Arnold Schwarzenegger, character who played him, um, he had, he put on a bunch of mud because that would cool his body, so he would be able to sneak around in the Predator and not see him better. And the Predator's invisible for, like, 98% of the movie. Yeah, he's around for, like, five minutes. Yeah, it's, eh. Yeah, but I really like it, and this is the only at GameStop, and there is a funny thing about this. Hopefully GameStop isn't watching, or somebody who would complain about this. Uh, so pretty much, this pop, uh, we got this for five bucks. I know you're probably going to say, but the only at GameStop one, I know I'm only 15. So this one was brand new, and I'm pretty sure your scanner didn't, like, read it like read the barcode yet and like really know it well so it was five bucks <laughs> yeah and it's a really cool figure and uh there was this predator and necro figure that i wanted but he's 30 bucks and funny enough now i won't have to spend half of my monthly allowance and um, my half another half of my other monthly allowance so yay yeah there is the Work with me here. Okay. Please stand by. Again, wish I had good editing. I could totally just edit this out. Ugh. Dang. I need like a camera crew. I also need a better camera than just my iPad. Because not a great filming idea. And I wish I actually had like apps that would show you how to film. Okay, now the grand finale. Okay, I'm just going to give you a bit of history and bore you. So, 
what Mad Magazine is, it normally made fun of a lot of things, like, it makes fun of Spider-Man, Lord of the Rings, Batman, Harry Potter, Terminator, and now they're just doing these. So Mad went out, like, Mad kind of went out of business, or they're just being lazy, and now they just pretty much reprint older issues of stuff, so we got this one for Christmas, well, I got this for Christmas, that I bought with my own money, because it was 13 bucks, and I looked at it and said no, um, so I was like, yes, and it happened, um, because it's about my own money, so yeah, pretty much what Mad Magazine is, it makes fun of a bunch of stuff, um, yeah, like, for the Lord of the Rings one, on the title, it's not Lord of the Rings, it's Board of the Rings, the two plus hours. Um, yeah. So, it's really cool, it's just like, and it went on through the 80s, and it kind of stopped in 2019, now they're just making the, that one that I showed you. So yeah, there's the Board of the Rings, the two plus hours. Yeah, and we also got ones making fun of Terminator 2. Terminator 2 is an 80s movie that is awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, and they do a bunch of funny stuff. Sometimes it's really inappropriate, um, but those are the best ones. Yeah, it does show things. Um, yeah, but Mad Magazine is really cool and really awesome. Yeah, okay. So now for the grand finale that goes with the Mad Magazines. Oh, and I got these, um, I got this one just at Barnes & Noble. Uh, this was around during Christmas time. Yeah, so that was around during Christmas time, so I bought that. Um, and then we got these from, not Second and Charles, uh, do 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 do. Do 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 do. It's like a used bookstore, and I wanted to look in the comics just because there may be a chance of Mad Magazines. And these ones are from, like, the 2000s, so they aren't the 80s ones. They're really cool. So yeah, and they're fun reads. For when like you have to do 20 minutes of reading in school, it's nice. Okay, so this one isn't a protector. Uh, I put this one in a protector myself. This is a Mad Magazine. I've opened it a couple of times. I don't think I'll read it because it's not what I thought it was. But you may be thinking, okay, it's an issue of Mad Magazine. It's not worth anything. It's not, it's probably like... 10 bucks now, um, but this, if you look right there, it says 1989, so this cover was out in 1989, and I love the 80s, as you can know by, like, my whole entire channel, um, yeah, and so it has, like, some funny spoofs, I like the front because it makes fun of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay, and, first of all, I'm going to show you this, because this is the only one that I have where he's not a different person. So, the main guy of this is Alfred E. Newman. So, he is the mascot of MAD. He is in every MAD magazine. You may be thinking, like, wait, where is he? He's Harry Potter. Wait, where is he? He's the Bat. Wait, where is he? He's Spider-Man. Yeah, and then this one, he's Alfredo, because Alfred E. Newman and Raphael... Yeah, and normally the turtles always ended in O's, so it's making fun of that. Because it's like, these used to be a dollar and fifty cents, so it's like, a price, a dollar and fifty cents, cheapo. And like, on all of them, um, they always end our, um, like, when it's the pricing, they always end it with cheap. Uh, so they made fun of that and did cheapo, and then there's Alfredo, and it makes fun of Indiana Jones. So it's Indiana. Um, there was a Hulk Hogan in, like, the guy from the A-Team movie. Um, there were, like, there was, like, a movie about them and they had, like, a big feud. Mr. T. No, wait, was it Mr. T? I don't know. But, like, Hulk Hogan and another guy had a big feud. And that became a movie. So, yeah. We have Hulko. And then the Wonder Years. This used to be, like, a 90s? No, this, oh. Can't time travel. Um... <laughs> This was like an 80s sitcom, it was just like one of those like Fuller House, Family Ties, yeah. Everyday kids and their families going through problems. Yeah, so his name is Kitty-O, 
And then the one that I think is hilarious, so on the barcode, um, they now do like the scan barcodes. Before these were all like hand done and like hand drawn, but now they do like do digital art stuff, um, because that's now a thing. <laughs> so the uh, and it says UPC crappio, um, because that was just like you have to have a barcode. So, they're just like, it's crappy -o. Okay, call it crappy -o. <laughs> So, yeah, there is the Mad Magazine. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I have to show off that I think you would care about. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing stuff tomorrow. It just it depends. Uh... I am going to try and do my collection video. The collection's getting bigger, and I think I actually know how to, like, do it now. I'm not going to, like, bring them all over here and just singly do them and say everything about them. Um, and, um, I may do an ASMR video. I've been watching a lot of ASMR because it's, like, um, soothing for when I'm doing schoolwork and it helps me focus. I have, like, some things that, like, are a bit soothing. I don't think I'll do an ASMR, that just seems like a really bad idea, and, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so, but, you actually probably get another video today, um, which will probably come out, like, the second, well, like, 20 minutes after this, um, and, uh, it will be my full collection. It's just a lot of Funko Pops that I have in the collection, and it can be. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see ya. Yeah, so pretty much, I hope you enjoy. If you watch this one, and you aren't, could you please subscribe? That would just really help my channel, and I'm not at the point where I get money for it, so I'm not one of like, the YouTubers who just like, subscribe to give me money. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, so... Just, yeah, could you please subscribe, just, yeah. Oh, and if you haven't already, watch my squirrel video. I'm trying to hit to a thousand views on that. Um, it's already at like 800, eight, 900 maybe, I haven't checked in a while. Uh, I think somebody's just like watching it over and over and over again on continuous loop, just forever. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy and bye!